going on everyone got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today we're discussing first man first man and damien chazelle's third directorial effort after making whiplash a masterpiece and also after making la la land another masterpiece see i was a little bit hyped going into this film because it's damien chazelle i want to see what this guy's going to do on his third outing and i'll go as far to say this right now damien chazelle you are three for three right now my man you directed the hell out of this movie and my god first man is just a brilliant epic now before we get into this review a little bit further i do want to discuss a little bit of a controversy so i don't hear about it in the comments i know i still will but i want to discuss it right now you do see the flag this is a very patriotic film the man is very patriotic you feel this through the whole entire tone of the movie so no flag controversy i got a flag right here i got manassas shirt i got another flag on this side so I'm telling you right now, this film, don't worry about that controversy. The controversy is dumb and it makes no sense to me. But my God, First Man is brilliant. Like I said, I absolutely love this movie. I'm going back and forth on what I liked it more. Did I like A Star is Born more? Or did I like First Man more? Because they're both so different, but they both are just some of the best films that I've seen in the last three years. And I really do mean that. I mean, man. <sighs> I had to take a deep breath after this film, a big sigh of relief. But what is First Man about? Well, First Man is about a look at the life of astronaut Neil Armstrong and the legendary space mission that led him to become the first man to walk on the moon on July 20th, 1969. And this journey is incredible. The thing that's really unique about this movie, though, that I love that they took it, it wasn't just about the mission. It was about the actual man and his life and what he went through, the personal endeavors that the guy went through. And that's something that I haven't seen in any personal missions through that have told this story yet. But this is the most unique thing about it is that it tells the story in Neil Armstrong's eyes and what is going through. And Damien Chazelle really captured that in the way that he filmed this whole movie. The whole film is filmed with handheld cameras. At first, it's a little bit distracting, but as the film progressed, I really did feel like I was one of the astronauts that were there that was going through this with Neil Armstrong. Like I was sitting on his shoulder and he pushed me into that place so damn well. And you feel the uneasy tension. You feel when you're in the rocket and all everything shaking about the sound design just adds to this but you really do feel like you are there in the rocket ship feeling like hey i could die in any second in this rust bucket because it is insane that how much fear is in these guys eyes and that's what you really feel through ryan gosling a lot of people are saying that his performance as neil armstrong is very stoic in one note but i would have to go as far to say you are not looking at everything if you look at the man's eyes all his emotion are in those eyes and i think he just portrayed neil armstrong so damn well because if if you really do look up Neil Armstrong, he is pretty much the embodiment of him. I, I think Ryan Gosling could have done it any better. I think he gives easily one of the best performances of this year. Just Sue herb talking about performances i mean claire foy a girl who has stunned everyone in the crown which i've yet to see but every other smaller thing that i've ever seen her in just blows me away and i will be shocked if she does not win supporting actress this year she is so damn superb in first man and the layers and the emotion that she brings she steals almost every single scene there's one scene in here where she's talking to kyla Chandler, who again is wonderful and amazing in this film but seriously she brings such a gravitas to this role and i loved it it goes to say every performance in here was great jason clark's in here Corey stoll's great kyle chandler again is brilliant every single person brings their a game and damon chazelle really brings the best out of all these actors he knows how to get these great performances and again one of the most unique things about the story is that again it's through neil armstrong's eyes you get to see what the guy's going through and one of the harsh hard moments in here which i'm not going to spoil but it's a scene where he's at a dinner table with his family discussing some of the stuff that's good about to go down and it is just really, really tough on the heart. This film's emotional. It, it got me there. It got me teary-eyed. It, it really did, especially by one of the last moments in the whole film where I was about to cry. And I love those sequences. But if we're talking about the last moments in here, I mean, all the space sequences in here are just jaw-dropping amazing. I, I, I couldn't tell you how many times where I didn't even have to take a double take. And I could have believed that they really filmed this in space and that they really did go to the moon. It is outstanding to see what they crafted within here and go into those moon sequences and how intense it got to those moments where you're literally, you know what's going to happen because this is a true story. But I was gripping my fist. I felt so engaged and riveted throughout the whole entire movie. Through every sequence that it was going through. Within those intense moments. Within those uneasy settling moments too. I just could not get enough of it. And man oh man. The score for this film is just the cherry on top. It is easily the best score of this year that I have heard so far. And I was just bombarded by some orgasmic musical sounds. 
I mean, seriously, this score is amazing. Giazana's team have almost crafted a masterpiece here. I do have one slight nitpick. I do feel like the film is a little bit too fast of pace. I could have easily gone for another 10 or 20 minutes with certain sequences. I feel like some of the elements in this film are a little bit rushed, but this is a total nitpick. It is a fast paced movie. It's getting to the point and it's getting you there through this guy's life. It's just a little bit of a nitpick for me. I'd like to spend a little bit more time with Armstrong's family and a little bit more of some of the missions and his teammates, but maybe that's just really how Armstrong was. Maybe he was really distraught from his family and from these people during the missions and what was going on throughout these couple of years. But again, Chazelle has crafted near a masterpiece. Maybe in a couple of years I might consider this a masterpiece. Just like I say the same thing with Whiplash and La La Land. I adored the hell out of First Man. It's really hard going back and forth to see if this is really my favorite film of this year or is A Star is Born still my favorite. It's going to take a little bit of thinking for that. But with all that said, I'm going to give First Man an A+. Absolutely, what a brilliant film. I cannot recommend First Man enough. Please go check it out. It is really one of the best films of this year. You do not want to miss this, and make sure to check it out in the biggest theater you can. Thank you guys so much for watching this, though. If you guys are new here and you guys want to check out some movies early, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, because right down there, again, you guys can get into advanced movie screens. You can get into some giveaways, check out some movie news, and even some movie reviews. But, guys, of course, until next time, hit that like and subscribe button if you're new, and stay classy. We'll